Hey everyone, this is Jeff from Church Motion Graphics, and I've got a lot of questions about how I added the gold foil texture to my text. Uh, this is a design I've created for the 2015 CMG Mega Pack, and I'd love to show you how to do it in Photoshop. So just today, this free pack came out on creativemarket.com. It's called 28 Gold Photoshop Styles and I want to show you how to use uh, textures and elements from this pack to create something like this. So here's my new file. It's 1920 by 1080. Here are uh, the files that are in this free pack that I downloaded. But let's first go into Photoshop, T for text, and let's write in my text. Merry Christmas. This is using messy script font from the creative market. Let's uh, change my move tool, make sure that text is centered. Perfect. Okay, let's go back into my folder with um, all these free textures that I downloaded. This one looks good. It's gold texture 446. Let's just drag and drop that into my document in Photoshop. Let's make sure that covers um, the whole size of the document. Click enter. And then now this is where a little bit of the magic happens. Hold down option or alt on uh, option on Windows, or sorry, option on Mac, alt on Windows. Hold that down and then just hover between the two layers, my gold texture and my text layer and then click with your mouse and what it does is uses uh, the layer below as a matte layer to for the the texture above it and there you have it you have uh, a gold foil on your text now what I want to do is add a background actually I can actually bring in something from here it's just fine this looks good so let's drag and drop that in, scale that up. I want to move that layer below my text layer. And then I also want to add in a uh, adjustment layer curves and just bring down all of those bright colors so that the text really pops off. What you can also do to separate the background from the text is add another adjustment layer, hue saturation, and just make it um, make it a cooler color. Decrease that saturation. We didn't need um, all that saturation, all that color in the image. So that looks good to me. You can end there, or if the text isn't enough, you can add um, a little bit more to that. So what I want to do now is highlight and select my text layer, right click, and select Convert to Smart Object. Now I can double click my text layer, and this is a, almost a separate document that I can add content to, and it will um, update in my original document. Press C for crop. I want to scale this up so that I, my artboard is larger. Go back to my folder here with all this free content and I'm going to go into the ink splatters folder. Just preview these. That looks good. Just drag and drop a few of these ink splatters in. And arrange them in this smart object. All of these look great. Maybe one more. That looks good. Drag and drop that in. Oh, that one's that one's pretty big, but maybe if I scale it up, it won't be that bad. Okay. Do a save. Go back to my original document, and there you see that uh, these that the gold foil not only went on the text, but it also went in all this the ink splatters. 
Now I see that I have a line here. Not quite sure what that's from. Let's go back into the smart object, and I think it's just something to do with um, one of these ink splatters that it, it kind of cuts off. So maybe if I just move it up so it's more off the page, save that, that looks a lot better. So you could tweak that, um, make it exactly how you'd like it to look. Uh, another little trick is that I can add in a another adjustment layer, curves, and really um, make an S curve here. So increase the bright colors in the image, de decrease the dark colors, and then again I want to press down Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC between that adjustment layer and now the gold texture. And then what that does is, see how these arrows are pointing down? It almost like daisy chains these layers to use this Merry Christmas matte layer. So hopefully this uh, tutorial has helped you understand how to add gold foil to text and graphics in Photoshop. I'm Jeff from Church Motion Graphics. You can find all my work on churchmotiongraphics.com. Thanks a lot.